Hello everybody, it is Kai Osuda and I'm creating a video for you guys pretty much talking about the newest thing that is pretty much happening in Wizard 101. One of like the best things that actually could be happening to Wizard 101 um, in a while actually. Um, it might seem small to some people, but in retrospect, I feel like this is going to be a huge change uh, to Wizard 101 or even King's Isle. So one thing that um, I'm super excited to talk about is Wizard 101 is finally go moving to Steam. Um, ever since I was little, and I think I was using Steam, I don't even remember what I was like playing on Steam, which is a pretty much a gaming platform. It allows you to, um, not I guess host, I don't know. It allows you to play games off of this um, gaming s software. Um, it helps you run games and stuff like that. So. Wizard 101 is finally moving to Steam. Um, it allows you to. Uh, there's going to be. I feel like there's just going to be a whole huge possibility with this. This with this movement. Um, and I think the main thing that I'm super excited about is that the community. There is like a whole other community in the Steam community, um, let alone the Wizard 101 community. So not only do we have this humongous group of people that love playing Wizard 101 in general that have been playing since what 2008 2009 um but now we're going to be getting a humongous flood of people from steam because steam has a humongous platform it's it's going to be great so that's i think what i'm most excited about with this whole like update of of uh you know wizard 101 being on steam um and in that uh wizard 101 actually posted a t uh, tweet on their twitter um answering a couple questions that they thought were like main questions about um or what they thought might be like some main questions um that will arise with this movement um so uh if you go i, I might put the link in the description we'll see and uh, it'll take you right there to like the uh, q a um and yeah so uh, account information uh, this is pretty much just like an overview of like the uh, like your account information when it comes to Steam. Um, can I use my current uh, King's Isle account on Steam? Uh, and the answer is you cannot use your uh, current uh, King's Isle account on Steam or link uh, it to your Steam account. Um, basically, what they're trying to say is that you aren't going to be able to like link or use your uh, Wizard 101 account on Steam. You won't be able to go on Steam um, and have your account. What they're telling you is pretty much if you're going to become a Steam user and use Wizard 101, um, you're going to have to probably create your own account, which kind of sucks, but at the same time, for a bunch of new uh, players, uh, I feel like this is going to be a, a pretty great um, you know, thing. Um, next is, how do I play Wizard 101 on Steam? Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. You go onto Steam, um, you go to the store, you type in, uh, you can literally go to the search and type in Wizard 101. Um, it might even be in like card game or like whatever section, free to play, um, MMO. And you'll probably see it right there. In fact, it might even be like a new popular game on Steam. Um, it's actually surprising how this game has never really made it to Steam because I feel like this should be a great, like, I guess, quote unquote, free to play game uh, for Steam. I feel like it's like, going to be a really good movement um, and stuff. So, another question is uh, Can I make a family of accounts uh, through Steam? Uh, and they actually answered, which is, uh, you know, I'm actually surprised to see this. Um, you can make a family account um, through Steam. Uh, one thing uh, to know, the families can't can't be a mixture of Steam users and non-Steam users. Okay, so that pretty much they're pretty much trying to tell you is like people that um, you can't just create an account off their website and, and like I mean yeah you can't create an account off the website and then you can't create an account off Steam and then create a family account. It has to be all Steam users and then uh, vice versa all like King's Isle um, accounts. Uh, which is good because I actually used to have a family account. In fact, I still have a family account and it helps a lot um, with, with stuff like that. Um, another question they asked with, with the whole account information is, uh, will the Steam version replace the version I already have installed? Installing the game through Steam places the installation in a specific Steam location that's specific from the current version of Wizard 101 that is installed. Um, you can have both versions of, uh, you know, Wizard installed uh, on your computer at the same time, and they won't overwrite each other. Oh, well, that's actually kind of good. So that if you do create a King's Isle or a Wizard 101 account, and you already have a King's Isle account, that means you can run both games at the same time on your computer, which is really really nice. Um, so that's really good. Uh, okay. So another thing is purchasing slash Steam wallet. Um, this has to do with all like their money and their balances and all of their like, you know, purchases. <laughs> um, 
How do I get a membership through Steam? Uh, memberships can only be purchased with the Steam wallet for Kingsile accounts created through Steam, which makes sense because you're gonna have like a monthly purchase unless you do crowns. Um, uh, Steam has enforced limit a limit of one ac active membership per Steam wallet per game. Uh, that makes sense. Um, so that's good. I, I, I'm actually kind of see how that's going to work out. Um, how does making purchases like buying crowns work through Steam? Uh, Wizard 101 players register through their Steam Wizard 101 client can only make purchases using their Steam wallet. You cannot purchase using a credit card or PayPal even if you log into your King's Isle website directly. So that means the only way that you're going to be able to, I guess, do any kind of membership or any kind of like crowned uh, purchases is all through the Steam wallet. So that is one thing that you really should keep in mind, especially if you are a Steam user. But uh, then again, I should mention that if you already are a Steam user, you're probably already using your Steam wallet because there is no other way to like, you know, put money through Steam without the Steam wallet. Um, Okay, uh, what is a the refund process like? Oh, that's true. This is actually really good. Uh, for Steam players, refunds cannot be uh, initiated from the Steam website. They must uh, contact King's Isle's customer support, even though refunds are handled through King's Isle and not Steam. The refund will be reflected in your Steam wallet balance. Okay, that's really nice. So. All you'd have to do if you want, ever wanted to get a refund on Steam, it's actually relatively easy for um, you know the King's Isle website or the Wizard101 website. But I feel like it's probably going to be be like similar, but a little bit more difficult. Um, you just got to contact customer support. Okay, another um, thing that we're going to be talking about is Steam features. So uh, this is a question that they have underneath Steam features. Is by the way, I mean as you can tell, um, if you guys aren't um, if you're confused as to what I'm doing, I'm pretty much just going through like their list of uh, questions that they think, you know, they, you know, they, people might have, um, you know, with purchases and account information, Steam features. So that's what we're on right now. I'm um, just looking at their web, their um, Q and A on their website right now. <laughs> um, okay, so Steam features. Uh, will there be unique act achievements? Oh my gosh, this is amazing. At this time, there will be no Wizard 101 uh, Steam achievements. Oh, that's literally all it is. Um, and if you guys know Steam, uh, there actually is a method when you're playing video games like, um, uh, what's a good game that I'm, I don't even know, uh, Terraria. So for Terraria, if you do something in the game, it actually gives you an achievement in, um, in like your inventory on Steam, which is actually kind of cool. Um, and I feel like they could definitely do something like that. Uh, so yeah, um, will there be Steam forums? Ooh, uh, yes, we will have a Steam forums for the Wizard One Hundred and One Steam community. Uh, Steam players are welcome to participate on our exciting or existing forums as well. That's fantastic. Well, so not only are they um, welcoming everybody onto their actual forums, but they're also making a whole new forums that has to do with Steam community for Wizard One Hundred and One. That's actually really really nice. Um, where do I go for support? The primary place to go for support um, is the King's Isle Hub slash support uh, hub for issues relating spe uh, specifically um, to the Steam wallet, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you go to Steam support. So that's actually really nice. Um, they're kind of helping out if you ever have any like difficulties. Um, okay, so gameplay. This is actually uh, hopefully going to be really good. And I actually am already looking at the last question, and this is actually going to be great. So uh, stay, stay tuned till the end for this big announcement. Um, will I be able to quest with players... Uh, who are using a King's Isle account? This is actually a really, really good question, to be honest. Um, so, if you are have been wondering um, if Steam players are going to be playing with people like like us who already who already are on Wiz, um, you can. Uh, I'm not even going to read the whole thing. Pretty much all players are going to be on the same, I guess you could say, uh, servers. They're all Wizard 101 is based on the same server. Um, so, anybody that is from the Steam community and from the King's Isle community, we're all going to be able to play um, together. Um, Okay, so next, uh, can I still use prepaid cards on my Wizard 101 account created on Steam? And they pretty much, I'm, I'm actually just answering these like, because I know these them as well. Um, you're actually going to be able to do that as well as King's Isle users. So, like if you go to Walmart or Target or GameStop, they have the prepaid cards. Um, you're going to be able to use that, you're going to be able to redeem those codes on Steam as well, which is really nice to know. Uh, next question is, are Steam users eligible for the invite a friend promotion? Steam users can still be the, oh my goodness, um, 
as well as blah 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 invite your friend promotion uh, to learn more so pretty much they're they're not really going too in depth with the whole invite a friend uh, promotion for steam but that's that's okay um, and this is actually the last question on their little Q&A uh, th little page um, which I actually was wondering from the get-go as soon as they posted this is um, will pirate 101 also be on steam because the the I guess the next game in line for King's Isle is Pirate 101. That's their next, I guess, quote-unquote, best-selling game for King's Isle, um, other than their mobile games and stuff like that. So Pirate 101 is actually not currently on Steam, but the, it, what they're saying is, we are not making Pirate 101 available on Steam at this time. Follow Facebook and their Twitter for the future updates. Steam players can use their Steam wallet to buy Pirate 101 memberships, even though Pirate 101 as a game is not yet supported on Steam. Download the Pirate 101 game client from the Pirate 101 website. So pretty much what they're saying is, Pirate 101 right now is not on Steam, but it definitely will be on Steam. And they're telling you to, you know, keep an eye out um, for future updates because they are probably going to be putting Pirate 101 on Steam. And that makes me very, very excited, which I'm going to be making in a whole separate video for Pirate 101. Um, but I can summarize it that Pirate 101 clearly hasn't been, um, they haven't been releasing many updates for Pirate 101, which is kind of unfortunate. But what's super exciting about what they're saying is that if they are going to be moving Pirate 101, oh my goodness, Pirate 101 to Steam, that pretty much means that they are going to be continuing the storyline for Pirate 101 because it's been at a standstill for right now. They haven't even completed the map. They haven't even... We're not even at the end of the storyline for like El Dorado and everything for Pirate 101. So I think this is going to be a fantastic move for Wizard 101. Um, and yeah, so I honestly think the pros for you know Wizard 101 being um, moved to Steam is just the fact that there's a whole new community that is going to be able to flood into Wizard 101. Uh, and not only is the Wizard 101 community already fantastic, we're all super helpful, we're all super kind and welcoming. I feel like that this game is definitely going to be coming back extremely strong, especially with this whole Steam community welcoming <laughs> situation that we're going to be getting here. Um, and yeah, I'm just super excited to see what's going to be happening. And I'm also super excited to hear that Pirate 101 is also going to be, at some point, going to Steam as well. Uh, because I would love to see Pirate 101, you know, get floored with loads of new players as well as uh, Wizard 101. Um, and yeah, I think that was like the main thing I wanted to talk about because I haven't seen really anybody. I mean, I've seen people on Twitter talk about this a little bit, but I haven't seen anyone on like YouTube, especially Blaze Lifehammer, talk about this new flood of information uh, that Wizard 101 is going to be moving to Steam. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was extremely helpful because if you guys haven't checked out the website in the Q&A or, you know, read it, I actually didn't want to read it because it, it's not that it was confusing. It's just that like, when I'm looking at a humongous page with a bunch of words, I don't feel like reading it. I would rather let somebody just tell it to me straight up, you know, without any crisscross applesauces, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope I was able to help some of you guys answer some questions, because I definitely know that Pirate 101 question was my main question from the get-go. Um, but yeah, so my next video, hopefully, if not soon is going to be a Pirate 101 video um, pretty much talking about a couple new things that might be happening to Pirate 101 so if you guys are interested with Pirate 101 as a whole this video is going to be definitely for you especially if you guys like the storyline to Pirate 101 you guys would definitely be interested in that um, but other than that hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe don't forget to turn on post notifications it will notify you whenever I post a new video which is super super important because lately there has been plenty of new updates especially this one um, and it will notify you whenever I post a new video, which is really good. So, um, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. So yeah, bye guys. <laughs>